So once you've got your instrument turned on and connected, uh, if you have just opened it up out of the box and you're using the static network mode, uh, you should see the IP address uh, 10.0.0.55 displayed on the screen. Uh, in order to allow your computer to talk to the instrument, uh, you're gonna wanna open up the control panel uh, and then come into the network and sharing center that I've got uh, displayed on my screen. Um, and then you're gonna notice you've got an unidentified network. You can click right here on the uh, ethernet connection. This will open up uh, a page that allows you to click properties. And then you're gonna go uh, and select the internet protocol version four. If you double click on that, um, you're gonna have uh, most likely set to obtain IP address automatically. Um, you're gonna wanna select use the following IP address. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in 10.0.0.50 uh, because this is in the same domain as uh, the instrument's IP address, um, but do not put this as the same at 10.0.0.55 uh, that you've got on the instrument uh, or you'll have a conflict and they won't be able to talk to each other. For the subnet mask, you're going to do uh, 255.255.255. From there, you can go ahead and click OK and OK uh, and close out of that. And then uh, just a quick verification uh, that you're connected um, and can talk to the instrument. You can open up a command prompt and type ping in the IP address of the instrument. And if I hit enter, you'll see that I'm getting a response back and that means you're connected. Once you've got your network settings set up so that you uh, can connect to the instrument, you're uh, then going to open Enlight, uh, which is the free software we provide on our Luna website. Uh, when it first comes up, you'll notice uh, you've got the Hyperion laser core selected here, um, and then that default uh, IP address. You can go ahead and click to test if uh, you're able to connect to the module, uh, and then click OK, and that will open up Enlight.